Well, everyone knows that Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without music. And that is why we were super excited to welcome back Anthony Blake Clark. He is the music director for Baltimore Choral Arts. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me again, Elsa. I'm happy to have you. I feel like you and the Choral Arts are single-handedly saving our holiday season right now with so many events being canceled just because of this pandemic. But I know that Christmas with Choral Arts is happening virtually this year. That's correct, right? Yes. Well, saving the holiday season is a tall order, but maybe we can help a little bit. Um, yes, we are in a virtual format this year, but it's so cool. It's really amazing. This was this is our 25th anniversary on um, on WMAR for Christmas. So yes. kind of a bad year to celebrate 20, year 25, but uh, we're doing it in style. We, uh, we are going to be on the air and we're going to spread some holiday cheer um, on your televisions and computer screens. I know it's atypical because again, 25 years we've been in person and sort of celebrating together, but you're ushering us into you know, a new era. So let's look at the bright side there with this, with this virtual, because really, if we didn't have this technology, we wouldn't be able to get this experience at all. So I'm wondering what is in store for this year's show, because I know it's going to be the same quality that we've come to expect these 25 years. Totally. Same quality, quality, same holiday spirit. Um, we're, we're sort of doing a look back over the past 25 years of amazing music and amazing collaboration with WMAR. We've done some new recordings this year. We went back to the Baltimore Basilica and we can talk about that later. Um, we did some new stuff and we're looking back at the best of. Um, you know, WMAR and Choral Arts were won an a regional Emmy Award and last year we were nominated for a regional Emmy Award for this production. So we're taking a look at some of those years and the first year and some important things that have happened along the way. And I get to talk to the music director emeritus, Tom Hall, um, uh, because he's the one who kind of started this tradition. So we kind of just take a big look back and it's really fun. It really is a beautiful tradition. And I'm wondering how you were able to do that this year and make sure that everyone remained safe. What did, what did you have to change? So we did a ton of stuff. First of all, we, instead of having 120 performers on the stage, big orchestra, big choir, we <clears throat> pared it down to 24 singers and myself, um, which was super sad, but you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, we did mandatory COVID testing before we gathered. Um, so we did some quarantining and some testing. We all were wearing masks, except for me during the, during the recording session at, when the cameras went on because someone, someone has to be able to show some emotion on the camera. And of course, I don't, I don't sing. So um, right. low risk, but all the singers were, sing with, were wearing masks and were distanced across the a large section of the Basilica instead of all being on stage. Got um, it. So we were very careful and, uh, and we didn't record for very long. Um, so it was very different this year, but, but I think very rewarding in its own way. And it was important to do this, to go the extra step and take these extra the precautions because music is so important. I mean, I touched on that in the intro, but for you, how is it this time of year um, when you think about music and its impact on the holidays? Oh, sure. Well, I was, I was thinking about this this morning because I was on, uh, listening to my, my iPhone, iPod um, <laughs> I was walking my dogs early and, the, and a Bobby Darren song came on and it's as long as I'm singing and the words are as long as I'm singing then the world's all right and everything's swinging um, which I just love but on a more serious note um, music and art really is so important at all times um, and at Christmas time of course it really makes us feel very good but <clears throat> particularly in hard times I think music can do two things uh, first of all it can be an escape which is good, we all need that right now, we can all benefit from that. But more importantly, um, music has this power to heal and to be so cathartic and it can be real, a, a part of a healing process for us when, we're, when difficult things are happening. And, mm. and so I think that's, that's, uh, that's really important and that's something that we can give to, to the public right now. And, and uh, the last thing I just wanna say uh, yeah. as I'm thinking about this this morning, um, music doesn't change the world, right? To claim that music changes the world would be to say that a good color scheme can change the world. But what it does do is it inspires and it inspires awe, wonder. It can make you sad, it can make you happy, it can make you angry. But what it does do is that humans, I think, who are inspired by music do change the world. Yes. So I think it's our job to, to be inspiring, to create beautiful art that inspires people because humans can change the world when they're inspired. Absolutely. And it enriches our lives. Absolutely. At every turn. All right. 
So we want to watch this. Remind us when and where we can do so. So you can watch on any of your devices, any screen, because we're gonna be on Facebook, um, we're gonna be on WMAR's Facebook and Baltimore Coral Arts' Facebook and both of our YouTube channels. But then of course, on television, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, 11.30 p.m., so when you're wrapping your kids' gifts at night on Christmas Eve, and then uh, I believe at 12 noon on Christmas Day. And then Absolutely. Obviously put that on your Amazon. I'm gonna be even a little more precise about Christmas Eve, that's 11.35, so. Uh, at 11.30, grab your cookies and your milk and your hot chocolate, all that stuff. Get ready because at 11.35 is when you'll be able to start watching that as you are doing all of your wrapping. Thank you so much for being with us. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. And we will be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.